Okay, the next thing I want to show you is is um, how to use the Explorer app to navigate from from your location to a location that you see on the map or to a feature that you see on the map. This is only going to work outside, so you know you, you can you can try to do this indoors just to get a sense for for things, but it, it may not work very well unless you uh, go outside. I'm actually leaning out the window of my house right now so that this this um, this will work okay for, for this demonstration. Um, the blue dot on the map, this is common to you know many apps, mapping apps that, that you may use. That shows you your location. Um, my location is in the kind of the upper left quadrant of this this map and and um, what I want to do is, is show you basically how to navigate to a spot in um, nearby Mud Bay. And uh, I'm going to pick a feature in the map, um, one of these pink dots, which is the Anadromous Waters Catalog point layer. And the way I do that is I tap on you know, the map where there's a pink dot, and it's going to show me on the left-hand side the features that are close to where I tapped. I want to uh, choose the pink dot and then it's going to show me you know a bunch of information associated with that dot which is a handy feature um, it'll 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 show you for example you know what species have been observed at that point there's there's chum and coho and pink salmon and um, dolly varden etc but uh, for the purposes of learning about navigating, if I want to navigate to this point, you know, the lower left-hand corner, there's three icons. And the lower left one with the arrow, you know, and the sign, that's, that's to use your companion app, you know, like Google Maps or, or Apple Maps to navigate. And, of course, those apps are not going to function. It's just going to say, you know, I can't provide you directions because there's no road, basically. Um, oftentimes when we're going from point A to point B in, in southeast Alaska, or if there is a road, it's not in the Google or Apple database. Instead, I, I want you to tap on the the little sort of arrow with the line, the center icon. And that's going to show you that the um, uh, the point is a distance away from me. Look in the, at the top of the left-hand side. It says it's approximately six miles away from me and the general bearing um, that's if you were to use a compass for example is southeast you'll also notice uh, that the blue dot is showing something that kind of looks like a flashlight um, symbol you know it's pointing to the north right now on the map up is north on this map and uh, so that's showing you which way the the tablet or the phone if you're holding it level, it's pointing. And so I'm pointing in the opposite direction from where I want to go. And I adjusted, the, sorry about that, I adjusted the app so that I'm now pointing at the app. And so you can basically use the Explorer app similar to how you would use a compass in that you want to hold it level and, and you point it in the direction that you want to go. You know, if I were to turn the app, for example, like to the east, it's showing me that I'm, if you know, if I walk straight ahead, I'm not going to be walking to the point that I want to get to. And if I turn back towards the south, it's going to show me that, yeah, the flashlight's pointing towards the dot that I want to go to. And if I walk in this direction straight ahead, then I will eventually get there. Of course, I would have to get a boat to get to this point, but Hopefully you get the idea of how to select a feature on the map uh, in order to, to use ArcGIS Explorer to navigate. You can also um, tap on the map. Let's see. If I stop the navigation process and I just tap on the map, maybe you have to hold your finger. Yeah, you hold your finger down. It'll drop a pin any place on the map that you want to drop a pin. Um, you you can uh, move these pins around. You see the crosshairs are showing you you know where you're gonna drop the pin. Let's say I'm gonna drop it right here. And now if I tap the the compass link on the left hand side again, the arrow with the little line coming off of it, it's gonna show me 
uh, the bearing again southeast and the distance 10 miles and if I hold the tablet level to the ground and I rotate it the little flashlight icon will tell me if I'm pointing in the right direction to you know walk or or drive to the point of interest that's the basics of navigation for right now we're going to go into more detail on navigation um, in a future video but but uh, for today's field exercise um, hopefully this will this will get you started